Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video, I am going to be doing an Audi and Lidl vegan taste test. If you haven't seen it already, last week I uploaded an Audi and Lidl vegan haul with the prices where I showed you all the food that I'll be taste testing in today's video. So if you want to see that, I've linked it down below for you. In the next few days, I will be taste testing all of that food with Lawrence and we will be giving you our honest and open opinions. So get your shopping list ready. That's what I say for this video. And yeah, if you fancy it, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe and then let's just get straight into it. Okay, so the first item I will be taste testing in today's video, I actually just prepared. It's two of the Lidl. I actually bought two packs of these in my haul because I already think I know I'm gonna love them. I've never tried them, but they are the Lidl vegan sausage rolls from the Vermondo brand. Average chilled sausage roll, but a vegan version, obviously. Um, I'm going to be having a side of vegan coleslaw with that this was only 20p it's a day out of date but yolo i have warmed these sausage rolls up um in the microwave i love doing that with these particular sausage rolls because they go really soggy and i just love a soggy sausage roll i don't know why so let's try the sausage roll on its own to be fair it has a good texture that looks like quite good inside sometimes you find with vegan sausage rolls the filling is just nowhere near enough it's very it's all pastry and nothing else so already it's looking good to me mm. good choice again too exactly what i was hoping for oh i absolutely love that i was going to save those two for lawrence but Feel like the baby wants four of these not just two mm, mm, mm. sausage rolls big win i'm gonna give them an eight out of ten for what they are i think they're fantastic actually i'm gonna go nine out of ten for what they are they're really good just got like a really solid good texture the flavor is really nice very very herby let's try the coleslaw um i'm gonna smell it first i've got the scent of a hound dog at the moment so i can smell that smells fine. I'm going to try it. Mmm. That is actually bloody delicious. Really nice. Very fresh. A little bit sweet, but also a little bit tangy. I like them both. I'm going to try them together because don't knock it till you've tried it. It's a good combo. Trust me. This or hummus with sausage rolls is just... Oh my gosh, I so need this. I'm actually starving. I recommend both and I will 100% be buying both again. Anyway, both of those are a huge success. Highly recommend both. Hello, it is the evening um, of a day in the week. <laughs> and we ha we've actually been so busy today, haven't we? We both decided we're just tired from the day. So we've got meals from the plant menu range in Aldi that I wanted to try. I'm actually really excited about mine, didn't I? Yeah, there you are. <laughs> I've been, I was looking at it in the fridge all day thinking this is what we're going to have. Mushroom bolognese, I thought that sounds really nice. <laughs> and I was really excited about it. <laughs> and so then nice. I said, oh cool, yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to it. And then I kind of thought, oh, actually, I should probably clarify which one I'm having. For, for dinner, that is what I'm having. I thought you liked this stuff because it has like no. quinoa in and you like quinoa. That's what I like, but you know what, I'm going to get abuse for saying it's quinoa or is it quinoa or... Oh, quinoa, quinoa. What Whatever. do you say? Um, do you know you what? Say I, say, I, I would have always said quinoa until I got the mick taken out of me and now I say quinoa, which oh. is equally mockable. So, okay. whatever. It's got a form of rice. It's got in kale it. in it as well. Dinner. Lawrence is having this Moroccan inspired power bowl. I actually bought it because I genuinely thought he would like it because <laughs> it's got a load of healthy stuff in. But... <laughs> Cooked quinoa. 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 Green lentil and brown rice mixed with kale. Sweet potato falafel. Sweet potato and dried sweet and cranberry with a Moroccan style sauce. We'll see. We'll see. And I've got plant menu mushroom bolognese. Very mushroomy looking, got tomatoes. Yeah, let's make them. Oh, there's courgette in mine. Is that a good thing? Mm, I don't know. You know what, it looks better than it is. It looks yeah. actually really nice. Um, uh, yeah, 
It smells so healthy. <laughs> I know, I'm beginning to think like someone's dropping hints. I'm not at all, but I, I genuinely thought you'd like it. No, I'm gonna have this like bolognese and you can have a pot of quinoa. <laughs> Let's try this. So this has spinach lumps in it as well, which is exciting. Or oh, I hope I don't get it on my t-shirt. I've got to say, I think your one looks and smells, Actually, it smells really good. Lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mmm. Pleased with that. I'd 100% get that over and over. That's nice. I could have bought that from M&S and be happy about that. Mmm. Have mm. a tiny taste of the sauce. Just... Have a whole mouthful with the pasta. Right, that's enough. For a microwave meal, like sometimes, sometimes pasta can be difficult, but that's really nice, and the flavours, the flavours are good, and it's not trying too much to be like. I was just meat. about to say that. Right, should we try yours? Yeah. Right, so I've got here. <laughs> oh, I've got a bit of everything on it. Mm. Go on. It's got like pumpkin seeds in there. Right. Well, I bet you like it. Oh, I knew it! I knew you was gonna like Not it. Not the kale. I've got to say, kale, we were just talking off camera. I just don't see the point. <laughs> it's the flavour, particularly the sauce, is really nice. Let me try. Just cleanse my palate. Wow. Oh, I got a bit of sauce on my top. Will it come out? Mm -hmm. So, um, fruity? Yeah, I think it's, it, there is, um, mm. it's that cranberry. The kale t stays so hard, doesn't it? I know. It always feels like you're eating a bush, no matter what. <laughs> it's nice um, if you're into quinoa mm. and rice and couscous. I want to see, if I was to get mm. a bowl of something like that, like a pre-made bowl, I'd go for like a pasta-based yeah pasta salad based tomato pasta salad based but then do you know what if, if 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 this sort of thing is your cup of tea and you love seeds and you love pulses yeah and you like the sweet potato and you like falafel and you want just something that's a little bit more interesting so it's got like that moroccan flavor honestly you can't go far wrong with something like this and do you know what i'm sure if you went on looked on the shelves of tesco or sainsbury's or wage rose you'd find something that's like this yeah and it would be four pound fifty mm. for what it is and it is very healthy and i tell you what I, i'm gonna feel super healthy after eating this <laughs> anyway so this one definitely a success from both of us mm. Mm. Um, and that one if you're into that thing i think it's really nice it Do tastes you know very premium i've got a mouthful of food <laughs> hello for lunch today we are having sizzling sausages a sausage sandwich each and it's going to be the vegan sausages that I picked up from Aldi I've just been looking at them now again they look so much like the vegan Richmond sausages so I've got high hopes because you guys actually introduced me to the vegan Richmond ones and they're great so I'm really excited to try them they're sizzling right now in the pan sausage sandwiches are ready <laughs> yeah um, run out of ketchup, so we've got mayo, but I like a mayo sausage yeah, sandwich. Yeah, I, I like a mayo yeah. one. I mean, you know, For ketchup lunch. is yeah, good. I think the sausages are good. They do look good and they smell, they smell all right. The right. only qualm mm. I ever have with vegan sausages, it's like the skin thing. Yeah. It like peels off when you're cooking it. It's kind of, uh, it, it feels like plasticky somehow. Anyway, enjoy. Let's go. <laughs> Aren't they the perfect sausage sandwich sausage? Yeah, really good sausage sandwich sausage. <laughs> I like them. They're decent. They're nothing too special. Mm. But I think they're just like an all round good. Basic, regular sausage. Okay, today we're trying a couple of things from the Aldi. It smells quite cheesy. Cheesy. It does smell cheesy. Cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're trying a couple of things from the Aldi Lidl vegan ranges. Lawrence for lunch is going to be having the vegan sheesh and onion. Sheesh. Sheesh. Oh, sheesh. Sheesh would be great. Sheesh. Sheesh yeah. kebab. I'd love a bit of that. Sheesh and onion pasty. Um, I have just had lunch. A nice bit of scrambled egg, avocado. It's delicious. Yeah. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to pull out of the sheesh, sheesh and onion pasty today 
I have an excuse because I've got um, all day sickness with pregnancy <laughs> and um, for some reason vegan cheese sets it off. Oh, well. Do you know no, what? honestly it does. I'm, I'm not just saying that. It's setting me off as well and I don't even have that. Oh, stop it. Let's try the, where are they? The vegan jerky. Oh, it's got the hiccups. Okay, so pasty, exhibit one. We'll let this cool down for two minutes. Yeah. And these, so these I found in Aldi, plant menu, black bean sauce, veggie jerky. Yeah, yeah soy. soy. And black bean is soy. So it's like soy flavored soy, which I suppose, can't argue with that. It smells just like, Holland and Barrett's. Yeah. And, Barrett's. Yeah. and it looks like the other one. But oh, it does. It looks like, um, I know it's so gross, but it looks like, you know when people give their dogs pig's ears? Yeah, it does. It's the exact same thing. It's the same thing. It tastes like Holland and Barrett's, the shop. It's got this very kind of like floral flavor. Yeah. Really weird. It's okay. No, it no, isn't. I think it's all right. I think, but you've got to really, you've got to like jerky in the first place. And I think jerky is a very meat eater kind of thing. It's a good snack, stuff like that. If you don't mind it, it's a good snack because it's, yeah. it's a lot, it's very chewy. It takes a lot to get through. And You're right. like, not, it's not going to be bad for you. It's just whether or not the flavor is- It's got a is, bit of a spice to it. Yeah. Yeah, I, like, honestly, I will probably end up finishing them. Yeah. Because I think they're all right. He's still a resistant. Oh God. Let's have a little look inside, see what it's like. You're like, you're even backing away from it. Like. I, it, do you know what? It smells like a real cheese and onion pasty though. You have to admit. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Try it. Will you try it? Mm. I can't tell what your reaction's like. Really? I'm just trying to okay, okay. really taste it. You know what? That's okay. Is it? Yeah. There, there's an element of cheesiness to it, but it's not really cheesy. Yeah, it's not try. It's not overpacked with the cheese. Exactly. It's not like they've doubled down on cheese flavouring. That's an that's an okay little pasty. If someone was looking for like a cheese, I would definitely pasty. have it warmed up because I can imagine it being pretty miserable Ooh. cold. We were going to have something else for dinner tonight, but actually we've decided we fancy burgers, and we remembered we've got the plant-based Aldi burgers in the fridge. I'm so excited about these. I haven't tried them yet, and I don't know anyone who has tried them, so it's going to be a first. And I can't wait. Just remembered actually, this is um, from Lidl. They're burgers from Lidl. Um, I found them in the Lidl chilled section. Now, when I showed these burgers to you in the hall, I mentioned that I can see onion, grated onion in the vegan burgers, like the vegan meat. And then someone pointed out that onion isn't a ingredient in <laughs> when I showed the ingredients. And there's like onion powder, I think, but not actual onion. So. What do you think those little dots of white are? I'm really confused. I do not know what that is. I don't know what that is. Doesn't smell. Do you think it's coconut? I'm still gonna have high hopes for them. I'm gonna put them in a pan, six to seven minutes. Let's do it. We don't do burgers by half measures in this house. So those little white things I was showing you, they've disappeared. Yeah, so it makes me think they're kind of some kind of fat. Because that's always the thing with like these, these vegan meats is that because they're like naturally made of things that don't have very much fat in them. They fall and apart. meat does have fat in it. Like a burger is a very fatty thing. Yeah. It's a very fatty thing and that's what makes it delicious. True. I was so hoping it was onion, but we have got lots of raw onion in there now. <laughs> Pickles, cheese. It's a nice burger because of our stuff. Yeah, mm. exactly. The actual flavour just, it's just got that like. It's not bad actually, to be fair. I've had bad. a lot worse. Had, had worse. We've had much worse. The texture mm. is okay. Mm. Like we've had ones where it's, it's been like mashed potato. Yeah. And the flavour's been the wrong. The M&S ones were the worst, remember? And. This isn't that bad. This isn't bad. I wouldn't like choose it. No. I'd choose to get, I'd just get some beef mince to be honest. Still haven't found a better burger than the Linda McCartney veggie burgers. They're great, but don't forget you had the Rebel Whopper. <gasps> the Rebel Whopper's actually so good from Burger King. It's okay. I'm enjoying this much more than I thought. Mm. 
the texture oh, think, is very good. I think for me, I was had my high hopes up, so <laughs> do you know what I mean? Whereas my expectations yeah. were rock bottom. <laughs> Mine were all the way up here. <laughs> so we've met in the middle. Yeah. I would recommend it mm. if you like the general vegan style burgers. Oh. Because it's, it's, it's very much similar to a lot we've had. Badly, the texture is good. Generally, um, I, think, I think you'd be really, really happy. If you like those things, I think you'd love this. Mm. We'll finish these and we'll, mm. um, I think we're having a pudding as well from um, Aldi and Lidl tonight. Vegan, it's mm -hmm. gonna be yummo. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, pudding, oh my gosh, really excited. Just about to put it in the oven. I've just got them out of the pack. They look really interesting. So they are Aldi plant menu vegan melt in the middle puddings with a chocolate center. Wow, they look, oh, they feel, they feel weighty. So obviously that's gonna melt and that'll be like the gooey chocolate center. <gasps> Put it in the microwave, 36 seconds. 36 seconds. Then we've got um, on the side, some ice cream I found in Lidl, which is the vegan ice cream, peanut and hazelnut. Um, so we're gonna have that with this. Oh my gosh, melt in the middle puddings with ice cream. So good. Look, it's so mm. gooey. We can't take the paper off because the whole thing's gonna fall apart. Yeah. Oh, so, it is, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know whether to add ah. the ice cream. That's what I mean, because we'll get paper. Right, let's, let's taste test it. Okay. Oh, it smells really rich. It does. Mm. I like that. Yeah. It's nice. Not, not as good as like the co-op one. It's do they use coconut in this? Yeah. Yeah. Mmm, you can taste the coconut. You're not I don't like the coconut. I, I prefer the other nuts. Mmm. The peanuts. I really like that, actually. Mmm. I think it's very good. The second bite was a bit better because it was a bit more rich. Oh, look, it's in the paper thing. Oh, wow. I just got the hazelnut side. Mmm. So, so do I. It tastes <laughs> like um, praline, doesn't it? Mmm. Yeah, it does. Mm, I think that's really nice, personally. Mm. It's not your favourite, is it? I can tell. No. More hazelnutty, in my opinion, than peanutty. 100%. And I'm a big peanut fan. Mm. <laughs> it is really nice, very nice treat pudding, so... Good I, texture as well. Very good texture. Mm. Okay, I'm going to end it there. Mm. I definitely found some things that we will be continuously buying now. It was relatively successful. I do mm. love trying new foods in the supermarkets. Anyway. We're gonna go finish our pudding. Mm. It's very delicious. Thank you to Aldi and Lidl for coming out with the goods. And we'll see you guys again really, really soon. And we love you very much. Bye.